My name is Ty Garland. I'm the CEO of Stasis Medical Corporation and a board certified vascular surgeon. Two of the most challenging problems we face in medicine are abnormal clotting and excessive bleeding. After a cardiovascular intervention, some patients produce abnormal clot, which can block a stent in the heart, leading to sudden death. In trauma, some patients lose the ability to clot, which can lead to life-threatening hemorrhage. Often abnormal bleeding or clotting is caused by a variation in the strength of the platelets, which are small particles in your blood that clump together to form the initial clot in a process called primary hemostasis. The Atlas Platelet Strength Test is an investigational device that uses a sample of flowing whole blood to activate the platelets with shear force. Atlas does not require additional reagents, which would only test a single condition. Instead, the Atlas Platelet Strength Test is a global assay of primary hemostasis, testing the end product of primary hemostasis or platelet strength. Until now, researchers have not had a way to directly assess platelet function. And this novel assay gives us exciting data specifically about the primary hemostatic process. Welcome to Stasis Medical and this brief overview of the Atlas Platelet Strength Test. The Atlas Platelet Strength Test is comprised of a monitor, keyboard, and platelet strength instrument. This compact instrument has a user-friendly interface consisting of a card loading port and temperature gauge. The monitor displays the intuitive user interface and results of the platelet strength test. The Atlas PST is delivered in a hard, protective case. Carefully unpack the instrument and attached monitor. Remove the keyboard and other accessories. Next, plug the power cord into the back of the instrument and into a standard 110 volt outlet. Remove the USB dongle from the battery compartment of the keyboard and plug it into one of the USB ports on the back of the instrument. Finally, flip the power switch to the on position and turn the computer on with the second power button. The monitor will then illuminate. Once Windows boots, log in with the supplied username and password. Next, open the Stasis interface by double-clicking the Stasis desktop icon. The Atlas Platelet Strength Test is comprised of a compact desktop instrument and disposable microfluidic cartridge. Unlike other platelet function assays, the Atlas Platelet Strength Test analyzes whole blood without the addition of extra reagents, uses shear activation to mimic in vivo activation of platelets, and produces a direct measure of platelet strength in just three minutes. Other platelet assays require incubation with additional reagents, and take 30 to 45 minutes to produce an indirect measure of platelet function. To run a platelet strength test, one, draw whole blood into a vacutainer. For platelet strength results within three minutes, use black, non-citrated vacutainers and be sure to test the sample without delay. For situations where immediate testing of drawn blood is not possible, use a vacutainer containing sodium citrate. In this case, the sample is ideally tested within 60 to 90 minutes from the blood draw. 2. Carefully withdraw blood from the vacutainer into a 1cc syringe. This can be done with a needleless system as seen here. We recommend at least 0.7 milliliters to run each test. 3. Once the blood is withdrawn from the vacutainer into a 1cc syringe, carefully attach the syringe to the card using the lure lock. Be careful to not inject blood into the card when attaching the syringe. 4. Insert the card into the analysis port until you hear two clicks. Five, once the card is in place, enter the identification number and double click Start Analysis. The disposable stasis cartridge is a sealed, single use cartridge that contains a microfluidic sensor. The sensor is comprised of an array of microscale blocks and posts that disrupt the flow of blood, resulting in applied shear forces and the disruption of laminar flow. As a blood sample flows through the microfluidic sensors, platelets are activated by the shear and aggregate to form a platelet plug. As the plug contracts, the post is pulled towards the block and against the direction of the flow. And platelet strength is measured by the degree of the post deflection. After initiating the test, the Atlas PST instrument automatically depresses the plunger on the syringe to inject whole blood through the card and across microfluidic sensor. As the platelets are activated and adhere to the nanoposts, they aggregate to form a platelet plug. This plug then contracts, deflecting the post toward the block. 
A self-focusing microscope then analyzes the fluoroscopically labeled nanoposts and calculates their degree of deflection toward each paired block. The resultant platelet strength output is displayed on the screen as an absolute value of platelet strength in micronewtons. As a global assay of primary hemostasis, the stasis platelet strength test measures the end product or the strength of the platelet plug. This allows us to identify variation in platelet strength without relying on a specific reagent or an activating agent. And we do so with higher sensitivity and at nearly 10 times the speed of other platelet tests currently on the market. In two independently operated clinical trials, the ATLAS platelet strength test has shown to correlate with both bleeding risk and need for transfusion in trauma. Other investigational trials are ongoing and show promising results. Thank you for watching our introduction to the Stasis Atlas Platelet Strength Test. We are excited by the technology and our partnership with physician scientists around the globe. Please take a look at us online at stasismedical.com and reach out anytime for more information.